We're going to go now to Dearborn, where yesterday's storms flooded one business for the fourth time in just a matter of weeks. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is live there this afternoon. And Darren, you spoke with one owner of that business. Yes, right, Glenda, she can't catch a break. Now, in 30 plus years at Noah's Deli, 22 years as the owner, Teresa Boland says that the only other time that she's experienced flooding was back in 2014, that big event that caught everyone off guard. Now, her doors here at the corner of Michigan and Romer have remained closed since June 25th, and she says she's not sure how much longer she can go like this. Four. This is my fourth one. Her fourth flood since June 25th. Teresa Boland says four to five inches of water filtered into the basement of Noah's Deli last night, an area she uses to run the shop, cutting and storing meat, as well as bread and her coolers. But her business has been put on hold, gutted from repeated flooding. I'm doing everything I need to do to get it back going, but every time I get started and I think I'm getting somewhere, it happens again. And this is 7 Action News' second time in weeks paying her shop a visit. We stopped by July 26. But this time, after checking around, it appears her neighbors escaped any damage. The city has to do something. I'm sure that it has something to do with the city. Boland suspects work done by the city earlier this year underground next to her property and throughout the area is the cause. The spokesperson for the city tells me she gave my message to the Department of Public Works as well as engineering for feedback on this claim. In the meantime, Surf Pro of Dearborn is once again cleaning up the deli. Surf Pro owner Maureen Winfrey tells me her company took in 7,000 phone calls after the June 25th flooding, and they're backed up through October. The city has had a town hall meeting, um, and they've addressed a lot of these issues, brought the department heads together and uh, to explain what the process is, what has happened, how we can move forward, and then what kind of help is here. Winfrey notes there could be many contributing factors to the flooding issues, some of which the city previously explained to 7 Action News as well. We are at the bottom of the watershed. We uh, use a combined sewer system with other communities. We're pulling water from as far as Northville and um, Troy, all down into the pumping stations that are here. We also have climate control, climate change is a big contributor, as well as um, housing changing. Not enough green space to filter water into the ground. Bottom line, Bolin says her property need not be the final destination. At times, you know, I, I want to give up, but I know that it's not my fault. I'm now I can tell you in speaking with Bolin last time and again today, she is determined to keep going. She says that she has received some help from uh, her insurance company as well as FEMA. And ServePro says that FEMA is still in town for those who need the help. You'll just have to schedule an appointment. Live in Dearborn, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Unimaginable. It's been a tough go for families, businesses in that area. Darren, thank you so much.